How's it going guys? So today we're taking part a high pressure fuel pump from a 15 horsepower Suzuki outboard. So as you can see, we've already taken the boat out of the water and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take off the high pressure fuel pump and we're gonna give it a good cleaning. So the tools to take this high pressure fuel pump apart, we're going to need a star bit uh, that fits these, these screws, needle nose pliers, some carb cleaner, and we have a punch to help push out uh, the filter that's here on the bottom. First step first, we're going to undo all these All right, now that we got all four uh, bolts off, we're going to take off the top. All right, so what you want to do is right here, when we're taking off this bit, uh, we're going to want to be very careful. So we're going to slowly ease it out because it's going to want to spring outward. Uh, it doesn't require that much force, but uh, we get the cap off. Just make sure you have everything organized. We have the little motor inside. Um, and then we have our three pistons. And we're basically taking everything out and we're gonna put it back in uh, exactly how we found it. So. Cool. And that's everything. So good, like, looking at these pieces, uh, they don't look too bad. Most of the time we're looking for rust. We're basically looking for anything that's obstructing the pathways right here, uh, or any rust on the small plates. So next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to use this punch to now push out our filter. See if there's anything in there. So as you can see here, we have um, one of the passageways is kind of got a little build up in it. Uh, so we're going to take some carb cleaner and spray it out. But right. so now that we've gone through and sprayed everything, um, so let's put it back together. Starting from the base, uh, we're gonna have to put the two pins in first. So what we're gonna do is use our needle nose pliers and insert them in one. Haha. -ha. We're going to uh, put this bone back in and you're gonna want the uh, white tip to face upward. So we're gonna put this one it looks like a, a bunch of Millennium Falcons. That's what we're gonna refer to it as. And you're gonna want them to go one in each post. So it should look like that. Next, we're gonna use the, uh, the big plate on top. And then we're gonna put the, the last plate on. Uh, this one looks like uh, three people. Uh, Two standing up, one upside down. Uh, and then we're going to put this big one in, this small circular one. Uh, see how it tapers inward? That side is going to go directly on this right here um, inside. So what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to put it inside of here, right in the big hole the tapered side. We wanna make sure the tapered side is facing upward because we're going to be putting this piece down inside. Cool. So this piece is keyed. Uh, but this is how it goes in. So the wider end of this piece is gonna go down first. 
you can put this in first and then you can put the pistons in or you can put the pistons in and then put this in but i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in um this one first and i'm gonna put the pistons in after and with the pistons you want to put them in the uh three larger holes that you see so the last step is going to be, we're gonna put the motor back in. So we're gonna put the motor back in the top, put the lubricated seal on, um, and then with the electrical piece, or electrical, electrical connector, um, it's gonna slide in there. This actually has a magnet, in, or has a magnet in it, or several rather, and it'll just gravitate in. And we're gonna put this all on at once. Uh, so make sure it's oriented the, the same way as it was taken off or the electrical connector should be facing up uh, with these two and then it should click you're going to keep pressure on it while you put these screws back in so one last thing i got to put the filter back in. Oh. Nice. <laughs> okay. So everything looks good. It sits very flat. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say, really. Um, other than just put it back on the boat. So as you can see, our whaler is working very well. Uh, what we did was we ended up cleaning out everything that was in there and now it works It works great. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we really appreciate every one of our viewers that keeps watching these videos. Um, if you like to subscribe, that would be totally amazing. And if you like the video, please give it a like. Um, comment what you did like about it or whether you want to see more content like this. All right, see you guys in the next video. I'm not gonna jump in the water. There's also a boat there, so. Good call. Yeah, yeah.